Hi everyone, Ann and I are back for day four of Four Days for Father, uh, the last day of our special Father's Day series. And so if you haven't seen the other ones, be sure to look back at those. All kinds of DIY gift ideas and things that you can do uh, to prepare to celebrate with Dad. And so today we are going to be using our Big Shot and we'll be using some fun die cuts in our Big Shot machine. We are using our Misty stamping tool and some fun and colorful uh, rubber stamps and just all kinds of things to create a fun card for Dad. And we're going to share with you some ideas uh, for dads who like collections. And so we are going to share some ways uh, for dads to store and display their collections. And so let's get started. Okay, we have our card making and stamping area all set up. We've got our markers, our colored pencils, our stamp pad cleaner, um, all of our supplies, our misty cutter, uh, some of our words for our cards, our, our bin of die cuts and other things. We have everything right here. I just wanted to show you how we set everything up. As soon as we're done with our big shot, we can set it to the side and then have uh, space to work here in the middle as we assemble our cards. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is get some of our die cuts done. And so I just have a simple card. I, I used an eight and a half by 11 piece of card stock and just cut it down the long way, folded it. That's going to be the base of our card. And so the first thing we're going to do is make a, a fun background and things to go on this. And so we're going to use some die cuts and I guess they're called dies rather than die cuts. So you can get these dies. I got these off of Amazon. It was actually a set of, of three different shapes. Um, I showed the circle ones yesterday uh, in a card making thing. But let me just show you real quickly how I store these. So this is a new one and I haven't opened this one up and, and separated the pieces. So I wanna show you how they come because they come all attached. And I guess you could cut that out, but um, so what, what you do is you, you need to kind of break through those attachments. And I found doing these that it's easiest to start with the small ones and move to the bigger. When you do it the opposite direction, you end up with very little to hold on to. And I don't know if you can see that you end up with these little, let me get a piece of paper behind it you end up with these little pokey tabs where it um, was connected. So if those are bothering you, you can just use your good uh, wire cutters and go through and snip those off. And be careful because those can be a little bit dangerous uh, if they flew up into your eye. So there's the difference and I just, so I just line up my cutters right there along the side and just snip those off. And then you can get rid of those little, those little connecting bits. Now, uh, you don't have to do that. Um, they are a little pokey, but those, uh, that's just an easy way to deal with those. So I want to show you how I'm going to, how I store these then because I don't want them just flopping around everywhere and, and just sort of shaking down to the bottom of a bag. So I got a, a piece of um, magnetic paper, kind of. It's, it's not real thick, but it is magnetic, so I can just lay each of those shapes on there and it holds it on. And I can just store that back in my little uh, bag to keep things corralled. So, and then uh, I can go ahead, I showed my system for organizing things and then I can just file them back in there and flip through and they're just so easy to find. So today, uh, to get this going, we are going to use these die cuts for a couple of different things. And the first thing we're going to do is get a pretty piece of background paper to put on here. 
And so I'm looking at that. That's my biggest one. And I think that is the size we want to use. And I want to check that with the stamp that I'll be using. So that's going to work just perfectly. So the first thing I'm going to do is get it set up here and then we're going to run that through our big shot. Anne's going to do that and then we can get our basic background cut and ready. So we want to use some colors that are dad friendly. So I had a 12 by 12 piece of um, scrapbook paper and it needs to be only six inches wide because nothing over six inches will fit through our big shot. So what we're going to do is bring the big shot. So Anne, let's mm -hmm. take this out and go ahead and set it here. Okay, there so we, we have, first we have our magnetic platform and then we're going to put one of our die plates then our paper then we're going to take our die and put it face down so the pretty side is facing down to the paper and that magnetic platform just grabs that and I love that and then we'll put our other cutting pad and here we go now hold here and then crank keep going and that just goes right through and it'll kind of keep going until it goes through there until you feel that and then you can just run it through the rest of the way and I'll pull it out. Yeah. Now, let's I gave you the now take it apart and you can see what we made. Look at that. And it's got a real pretty, let's see if I we can. We did it. It's got a little, an edge that looks a little bit like it's stitched around. It's just a real pretty edge, and I like that. Now I want to show you another thing you can do with this. Same thing, die cut face down. But now I'm going to take the next smallest one. And in fact, yeah, there we go. I think that should be really nice. Okay. Then our other pad. Okay, Anne, you ready? I'm just gonna snip that off so it's out of our way. Are you ready? Mm. Okay, start turning. There we go. All right, now look and see what you have. Okay. Can I do it this time? Good. So, when we pull we that up, then we have this really nice border piece, plus we've got a nice square. Okay, so I really love the die cuts. I just, I think they're fun, they're easy. Let's go ahead and just set that back in there for now. And we oh, can go ahead and put this to the this side. Part. That's okay. So I now, know. if I'm finished with this, I can go ahead and put my dies back on that magnetic piece and then I can put them right back in my package and have them stored away. But we're gonna use them again, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave those there. Okay, so here are our options. There we go. Okay, good. So Anne, I want you to look. So here are our options. We can do a green piece like this and another piece of white, mm -hmm. or we can use that border, mm -hmm. and then we can put our um, our truck stamp in the middle of it. Which way do you like? Which way should we do it? Should we do the whole green piece, and then we're gonna put another piece on top, uh, or do you like the border? Uh, I think. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and save these, because I know I can use them. Now, while we have the die cut machine out, I want to show you another thing that we're going to do. Because I don't always have stamps that say what I want it to say, like this said, let's hit the road. This is what I want to say in my <laughs> card. Thanks for making our road easier and we like how you roll. Now. I went ahead and created that in a Word document. I wanted the words in brown. I got them the size I wanted. So now what I can do is go back through, get my die cut, and then I'm going to put my paper on here. And then I'm going to come back through 
with my dies. This is going to go on the inside of our card. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and place that in there just like that. And now we put on our plate again. Okay, Anne, you ready? Mm -hmm. Remember, you've got to turn, 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 turn. There we go. Okay, now let's look. There we go. So it has cut that out and that is going to go right on the inside of our card, right here. I'm gonna put that there. And then this one that's on the outside, you can still go ahead and just use your scissors and cut that out. Now, this particular one is printed on our, just on regular uh, copy paper, but of course you can print it onto cardstock but I'm gonna show you how we're going to use that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to set those to the side now. So we're going to be using this green piece. So let's put that here. We're also going to be using this green piece and I want a white piece that can go right over the top of it where we're going to put our stamp. And so we need to cut one more white piece. And I've got some heavier card stock. Let's cut that in half so it will go through our die cut machine. So I've got some heavier card stock because I want to stamp onto that. And then we're going to put this die down. And I think we're going to do a couple of them in this run through just in case and get them so that we've got a couple of options. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Yeah. Keep going. You're doing great. Keep going, good. When it goes over the die, it uh, it kind of um, snaps a little bit. So go ahead and take those out. Look at that! That real I love that real pretty edge that looks looks almost stitched. Okay, Anne. So now you've got to make some decisions. So do we want it to be like? Do we want to use that one, mm -mm. or do we want to use the smaller one? Yeah, smaller. the smaller one. Okay, let's set that here so that we can use it in the future. Now we can go ahead and put away our our dies, and they're just right there, so handy. Like I'm going to set them here. One. There we go. All right, I think at least for now we're finished with our big shot, so we're going to set that out of the way, so that we have space to work right here. Let's bring all of our pieces together. All right, oops, scissors, okay. Now we're going to get out our Misty stamping tool. There we go. Okay, let's put this on our work, gla our glass work area. And then let's turn this this way. Okay, now we could go ahead. So let's go ahead and put down the piece of cardstock that we cut. That, and then we're gonna put down our magnet to hold it in place. And I'm pushing it right up into that corner. Now I'm going to get out my stamp. And this is, uh, a, I guess they call these a, a cling stamp. I'm going to just pull that off like that. Like that. And then it's a truck. Oh. And then I can position it on the card exactly how I want it on that. So does that look right to you, how it's positioned? Okay, so let's, yeah, they're sticky. 
<laughs> so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, gonna get it positioned just like we want it. Then I want you to close this, let's, let me flip that over so that that tape does not close down. Okay, I want you to flip the door closed. Okay. Then we're gonna push on the stamp right here. So push right there. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it up. And now we know that's right where that truck, that stamp needs to be. Now we want to make the truck a red truck, but oh, instead man. of stamping in red, we're going to go ahead and stamp in this uh, hippo color, and then we're going to do some color blending on our card. So now, now this is what we do, Anne. We get that, and we're going to go ahead and put ink all over that truck. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on. Let's see what happens. And here's the beauty of the Misty. Okay, now go ahead and and close it up. Now push on the truck. Okay, now we're going to open it. And look at that, it's stamped right there. Okay, move your head so people can see. So we have the stamp. Now, we're not moving anything. We're gonna leave the paper and we're gonna leave the stamp. I'd like that to go a little darker. So I'm going to re-ink my truck. Okay. And now close it again and it will stamp in the exact same spot. Push it down again. And that's what I really love about the Misty, is it's hard to do it wrong. And now it's a little bit darker and works just right. Uh, let me show you this little tray that Ann and I use quite a bit. We get these at the dollar store and uh, we got some of these uh, mini ink cubes and they just fit so well in that little tray and easy to grab and they just sit so well with all of our other stuff. Now, while this is here, I like to try to remember to go ahead and clean off my stamp with this stamp, stamp scrubber and just get all of the ink off of it. And then when I pull it up, oh, I can go I ahead and put this back where it belongs. Well, don't break it. Mm. I'm not going to break it. Huh? I can stick it back on there and then it's put away. And we have a nice truck just stamped right there that we can now color. Okay, I'm gonna put those away. All right, so now we can take off our magnet and it's got a little house to sit there and then let's uh, go ahead and close up our Misty. Okay, now, you can put that to the side too. Now, the other way you could do this is to go ahead and stamp it first, then set your die cut on it and send it through your big shot that way. And so that's one way to do it. So now we're going to bring over our uh, glass mat and let's get our colored pencils. Now, one thing I have been finding out is if you use marker first, um, it's a little hard to blend, but if I start with colored pencils, I can then bring in markers and get other uh, types of blending. So if, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna just start coloring in some red here, like this, because we want this to be a red truck, right? Mm -hmm. And then I might bring in some other color. This is a more of an orangey red, and I can bring in some other colors. See how that kind of gives it some depth. And then, so here's what's interesting. Once I have colored pencil laid down, and these are, these are Prismacolor, these are good colored pencils. Then I can come back in with my, with my different colors of, of red marker and I prefer the um, kind of thicker 
tip. But now look, when I come in with this, I can actually slide over the top of that um, colored pencil and bring in even more color. So I wanna show you that. And then if we bring in some more, a darker red, we can get several different shades. So I know if you have alcohol ink markers, they actually blend really easily, but I don't have those. And so I'm going to do a combination of the colored pencils and the markers. So the next thing we're going to get done is to get that truck all colored. So Anne, where I want you to color everything except the wheels and these. Okay, so here we go. Here is our finished truck. Let me get it better in the light. Now, one thing I like about this is it's not perfect. It's obvious that um, a daughter, a, a, you know. A dad or a son. Yeah, it's obvious that a daughter has done this. It's not blend. perfect. But those are the things I think that make cards like this special because it's obvious that the child has worked on it, that it's not just a grown up making everything perfect. And I, I think that's I think that's great like that. All right, so now we are going to start gluing some things down. Look how nice that's going to look. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are going to add some the words and other embellishments. So stay with us, and we're going to get this glued together. And uh, stepdad, too. That's right. Uh, these would be good for stepdads. And stepfather. Stepfathers. Uh, st a stepbrother, if you wanted yeah, to celebrate. Yeah, stepfather and a step grandfather. Yeah, grandpas. Yeah. Uncles, uncles cousins. But what? Okay. And your so dad now we're you. going to glue oh, this down. So will you help me? We're going to glue this down. For me? Yeah. There. Okay. So it's not perfectly straight. That's okay. All right. Now, when we do this one, give it a little bit of depth. And so we are going to use our sticky strips. And this particular set comes in some wider strips and some narrower. So we're gonna use the wider strips for this one. Let's do it this way. So we can take the sticky strip off and then we, we just go ahead and put it on the, the paper that we're sticking down go. I'm going to put this in the middle and then I've got this piece sitting there in the middle because I don't want that middle to dip in. I want it to hold its uh, hold its shape. So we're going to do that one. What's that? These are the sticky strips. Another My reason I love this go. glass to work on is things don't stick. It's easy to clean up even if you get a little uh, tape on it or glue. It comes right up. Look, okay, tape. now, okay, so it's not on there straight. That's okay because we want dad to know that that his kids have made him something special. So our our goal is not to show someone like me. Show yeah, someone like you. Our goal is not to show perfection. Our goal is to show Our goal is to show that we've made an effort and uh, to to share something fun 
that we've made with dad. Now these are very static clingy, so it's hard to get them off your fingers. So flip that over and glue that onto the card. With glue. And try to do it straight if you can. Uh, up a little bit, it needs to be in the middle. There, uh, there you go. There, good, okay. So there we go, not perfect, but that's okay. It's looking so good. So the truck is raised up from the rest of the card. Now we're going to put down these words. Can I open it now? Well, let's finish the outside. Oh. So we're gonna put these words, we like how you roll. I'd like to trim them down a little. I think I'd like them to just stay in the white. And these I don't want to be raised. I just think they will look better just laying flat on the card. Does it look like tape to me? Okay, so we're gonna put this right down here at the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. So, does it look like tape to me? It is a kind of tape. It's tape that is uh, raised. It has dimension. Oh. So it is sort of like tape. Okay, now yeah, are you ready that to look like tape? Yeah, that's a tape runner. Okay, so glue it down here in the white. Okay. Right here? Yep. Like Good. That? Good. Here's a little trick. Uh, these these static clingy backs to the tape to those uh, sticky strips are so clingy. So a way to get, get them off your hands is put a little tape runner down and then you can stick those down to that and you're not having them clung to your fingers all the time. Okay, that's looking super cute. Okay, now let's open it and now we'll do this one. The thanks for making our road easier. So I'm gonna get the tape on this one and then you're going to Stick that here on this side. Oh, right here? Yeah. So that we have room to set, write a little message for Dad. Try to put it in the middle and make it even as best you can. There we go. All right. Like now, that? yeah, you're doing a great job. Now, like let's that. think. What are the, some kinds of fun embellishments that we can put on this outside? Should we put some, some jewels? Uh, should some we put candy. a charm? Uh, candy. Hmm. Uh, let's like, see. Like Smarty. Okay, we're going to take a little minute, and we have a whole drawer in our craft, uh, our craft room that is called embellishments. And we have a whole drawer called jewels. And we keep them in the drawer so that it's just an easy takeout, easy put away, because so many of us are using the all the craft supplies. We don't be too picky about how it goes in the drawer, just that there is a drawer. So Anne and I are going to take a minute and go look in the drawer and see what embellishments we can put on here. And we'll be right back. Okay, this is what we found and picked some pink jewels and some silver jewels. So we talked about it and we have a fun idea of what we're going to do with the jewels because this is for dad, so it can't be too girly. So the first thing we're going to do is take these I can do that. jewels and here. Let me stick that back down. I, I can the first thing we're going to do is take the jewels and, uh, wait, there is some adhesive on the back. So mm -hmm. don't pull them off there. So we're just going to raise up a jewel, and then I'll, I'll let you do it on the other one. Clip it off, and mm -hmm. then we decided it would be cute to have a jewel right in the middle of the tire. Okay. And let's do one more. Or you, or you put that in the middle of the other tire. Okay, so that's pretty fun. That gives it some pizzazz. And then the other thing we can do with these jewels is pink. Oh. Okay, so maybe do we want to put a? a I'm thinking. Um. Sometimes it looks pretty to just have an odd number, so maybe three sparkling in front of the truck. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so here we go. Kind of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> and then one more. Um, and then go ahead and put the last one wherever you want it. <laughs> okay. So that's what we're going with. I think if I were doing this again, I think the jewels on the tires are fun. I think I might leave those off, but hey, this is, we're doing it for dad. And so Anne gets to make the choices as she wishes. So look at this cute card. We like how you roll. Thanks for making our road easier. And then we can write a nice note for dad right there inside the card. So okay, I love that. Me. Oh, yeah. I love okay go ahead and write your name on it well, I mean, you there's a pen right okay. over there and so oh, no. what I love about all of this I love having the big shot the misty it has made mm. card making so much easier mm. oh that is a marker yeah that's not a great one for <laughs> sorry so they've made it so much easier and we've we've learned to uh, store our card making things and keep them all together so when it's time to make a card it's just get it out set up our space do the card quick clean up and we're done so we hope you like that card idea for dad and now we want to show you what are you trying to write Happy Father's Day. Oh, you're doing what fine. R. Okay, so the beauty of this is it's a pencil. So let's what? erase that. And now you can write okay. fathers. So we want to show you a couple of other ideas for dads who have collections. And mothers who have collections. I wanted to show you, oh, sorry. I'm going to slide you down just a little, sweetie. Okay. And you can write right there. What's that? I wanted to show you this little wall hanging that my mom made for my dad several years ago to uh, display his collection Thank of, you. what do you call these? Oh, that's very nice, Anne. But you want to like put that. your name on it too? Yes, I will. Okay, put it. What are our names on it too? Okay, and we'll have the other kids put their name on it too. Yeah. So we dad, uh, when they would travel to interesting places, dad would buy these patches and uh, he had some on his hat and on his jacket. And then uh, my mom made him this little oh, wall hanging yonder. where they could uh, display those patches. I have one that is yonder. similar. Oh, Yakina. Oh. Bay Lighthouse. Oh. That's in Newport, Oregon. Oh, no, you said yeah. <laughs> so I oh, have a quilt well, similar to this. How you had your cake? It. Oh, oh, like Yolanda. Yonder. So I have a quilt similar to this where I, I collect pins and I just mm. stick the pins through and oh, I Disney. do the collection that way. I do have several Disney pins. Yeah, okay. I do too. Sorry. <laughs> So here's an idea for uh, something you can buy dads to display their collections. This is my rock collection. I think I showed this one other time, but I just love this case. Uh, you can label it, you can see through it. It's got the little dividers. That's a great way to display a collection. And similar to that is this shadow box. <laughs> uh, that has different layers to collect like little things. Hey, I, all of a sudden, I was thinking if we get more of these, we could store them in the shadow box. But uh, if you go online and look around, you can find all kinds of fun boxes like for Shadow Man. Like Shadow Man. For, uh, you can find all kinds of fun boxes for collections like that. Shadow Man. <laughs> Okay, and I showed you yesterday our <clears throat> the quilt my mom uh, made to uh, showcase my dad's ties. And so you can look back at that. Okay, so before we finish, we want to show you one other fun idea that you can do with dad. So <laughs> we have certain things that Anne is working on, uh, getting good at. And so what we do is we create an envelope 
so that she can earn dates with people and privileges. So Anne, where 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 did you go with the first the first envelope you earned? What did you do? Uh, I don't know. Who did you go on a date with last week? Dad. And what did you and Dad do? Um, bowling. Bowling. And so Anne went on a date with Dad bowling, and she earned it. Uh, she's been working on sleeping through the night. And uh, so each morning, if she did that, we mark it off, and I actually give her $2 to earn towards the date. So now she just finished earning a date with Tom. This is her brother mm -hmm. to go to the Buzz Lightyear movie and dinner. And she has yeah, already yeah. earned I, that. I think you need snacks. And probably snacks. Yeah. But they're just waiting for the Buzz Lightyear movie to come out. And so she earns uh, the money for that too to help pay for the date. And so she finished that, so we're working on other things. So now we've uh, picked a new goal. And so now the one she's working on is what? Let me wave remind me. <laughs> so she's earning uh, the chance to go to, on a date with me, to the Lazy River, because we love Lazy Rivers. Oh, yeah. And it's I, finally getting I warm. I yeah, we love Disney Lazy Rivers, but it's finally getting warm and the water park warm. is going to be opening. And so once she has finished all of these days or nights uh, doing what uh, she's Ooh. chosen to do for a goal. And I went to earn a date with, um, we went, I went to earn a date with Katie. Oh, okay. So see, she already has a plan to earn another date with Katie. And this all started with a date for dad, a, a date with dad. And so this yes. is a good way to uh, help kids set and reach goals and improve those relationships between dad and kids or uh, brothers and sisters and kids. And so uh, we just wanted to share that idea along with our card that we made. So there's our final view of our We Like How You Roll card for Dad. Mm -hmm. And I think you did a great job. We, we love Dad. We do. I love it that it's not perfect. I love it that it's the work of mm -hmm. Anne's hands. Oh, yeah. And I, yes, we, there was help. But she put it together on her own, and I think that will make it more special and for Dad. we are not perfect. That is so true. So I hope you've enjoyed our four days for fathers. Uh, if you didn't see the other days, go back and watch those. Lots of gift ideas, uh, cards, collections, uh, just ideas, fun ideas, and things to do with dad. Mm -hmm. So I hope that you and your loved ones have a wonderful Father's Day and that you all have ways to show dad that you love him. Yeah. So happy yeah, Father's not Day. Perfect. We are not perfect, but please subscribe and come back and join us. We're going to be doing summer things I'm very cute. soon. Inside and I'm outside cute. things. I'm cute inside and outside things and so join us and we'll see you next time i'm cute <laughs> you're goofy is what you are <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> why, why do you think i'm goofy because you are